kutoka Kongo ya mambo ya vita ndio ilikuwa huko ndio ilifanya nikatoka Kongo IRC ndio wakanisaidia sasa nikawaeleza vile nataka wa support kibiashara People who were forced to flee that country often find refuge in communities that have very little resources. That can create tension within the communities, but it can also bring opportunities for people to work together and develop a more prosperous future for their community. At the IKEA Foundation, we support programs that help refugees and host communities thrive together. Alafu nataka ni expand biashara yangu. Biashara yangu kwa kubwa. Ni naweza fukua hata shule ya 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 kushona. Tenye watu kushona juu na marafiki wengi hata wa Kenya kuna wengi wenye wana wanatamani kufanya kazi lakini juzi hawana so nataka ni kuna We've been supporting the IRC since 2017 to help people in Nairobi create new businesses that can grow and offer employment to others. But we don't just support programs in urban environments. We also support refugees and host communities in rural environments too, such as our partnership with the UN Refugee Agency in the Masisi Marshlands in Rwanda. The project, Masisi Project Salida has uh, given uh, you know, a lot of advantage, you know, first by ensuring, as I said, access of the lands, Uh, uh because specifically for the refugees you know that's the first time you know in Rwanda that we have been able to provide such a big land you know to the refugees with this project you know refugees have been fully integrated it the project has improved the knowledge about farming but also one of the advantage the project has been able to provide the food security to all the farmers and from the host community the project also you know have some advantage by uh, improving the standard of living of the farmers and increase their incomes. We supported the Misisi project in 2018 as a new way of working with the UN Refugee Agency in the government of Rwanda, where we would support an agricultural livelihood program that supports local markets. This project has been generating evidence that this is a good investment to make and is now supporting a larger government land allocation scheme that will include refugee households. My hope for the future is of course that we see less crises happening because of smart investments in climate and in livelihoods. I hope the foundation will have contributed with evidence about what works and what doesn't work and that we no longer see refugees as a problem but really as an asset to continue to invest in local economies and their communities.